Hey guys, time to review the Thrunet Catapult version 5 UT. My god guys, this is one unbelievable flashlight. And trust me, I've got some big flashlights coming that I'm going to be reviewing soon. This thing just astounds me. So let's go over the numbers before I get too much drool all over myself here. This is a uh, flashlight that takes two 18650 batteries and uh, uses the XPL High LED, which is an XPL LED minus the dome, so it's actually a really good uh, LED for throwing. It has four modes, which are your high mode, where your turbo, which is 1200 lumens for 91 minutes, high mode, 580 lumens for 183 minutes, um, medium, 310 lumens for 400 minutes, and low, 73 lumens for 1700 minutes, which is like 30 hours. Has, as you can see here, a two switch setup, all the usual stuff, impact resistant, IPX8 waterproof, you know, real tempered glass lens, um, comes with a whole bunch of accessories, which of course I forgot to pull out as usual. Working voltage is 5 to 14 volts, so you can use the uh, <clears throat> two eighteen six fifties, or you can use four CR123s. This thing also has a strobe mode as well. So, did want to mention that. It has a memory mode, so it will remember your last mode. And it has some other neat features as well that we will go through with this thing. So I want to give you a little bit of a close-up look at it first. And like I said, you have that really nice uh, clear glass lens, the stainless steel bezel, um, smooth reflector, really a nice quality and everything. And then you get the XPL High in there, which is a, a de-domed emitter. Really nice cooling fins all throughout the whole thing. This two button setup that we'll get to. Really nice knurling. No tail switch, but uh, plenty of uh, lanyard holes on this thing. So, overall, quite a fancy schmancy little light. Now, where this thing uh, really shines, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, is that this light is a tremendous thrower. It throws a beam a really far distance. That because it has a very deep reflector and the de-domed LED also helps with that as well. So it's like the perfect storm in order to create a light that just throws a beam, a really tight, you know, kind of laser beam out there. So how does this bad boy work? Well, it's very simple. It's a two button setup. Your button, button, button. We'll turn the light on, and you can see we have that set in low mode so it doesn't blind the camera here. Top button will let you cycle through your four modes, and then back down to low. Bottom button turns it back off. Okay, that is one cool feature. You also can hold in the top button to get you to strobe. Turn it again to turn it off, and that's your how it works while the light is on. You also have a secondary feature that makes this light an amazing tactical defense light. Th this is something you can really put on your nightstand and you're going to be able to use this thing realistically to defend your home or your family if you have to. And what it has is a very simple momentary on that goes immediately to strobe. So you can literally, while the light is off, hit that and go immediately to strobe. So if you have this bed by your bed... <laughs> can't even talk. You have this guy by your bedside stand, someone bursts in your door, you can grab this thing and, you know, momentary, and I think if you leave it on for a couple seconds it actually leaves it on. I forgot how long. Yeah, a couple seconds there will actually leave it on. And then that will turn it back off. Really cool. As far as you ask me, a lot of tactical lights just don't have that capability to instant strobe when the light is off, or if it does, it takes some combination that might not happen. This is something you could literally, you know, like be fumbling, you know, and you can see I turned it on there, but, you know, you can very kind of hastily turn it on and, and uh, get that strobe going, even in kind of an emergency situation. So speaking of, this thing is also heavy enough where you could do a lot of damage with this thing. This thing is definitely weaponized. It is something that could definitely hurt someone if not kill them. So this thing, I think, this light is going next to my bedside stand. This is going to be that light that's there. This is something, 
if I need to check out a bump in the night, this is the light I'm going to. And for good reason. It's big, it's heavy, great run time, all that stuff. And we still have a few more features we haven't even shown you. It also has a lockout. You hold that bottom button in for three seconds. That will lock the light out. Hold it back in for three seconds. That will turn it back on. Very important with a light like this. When you have momentary, because you don't want that turning on, say if it's in your backpack or something like that, you don't want that thing turning on every time you bump it. You can also lock it out by twisting the cap. It has uh, anodized threads so you can actually lock that out as well. So pretty cool all around if you ask me. It's a lot of light for the money and you're going to say, okay, it's a hundred dollar light. Who has that kind of money? But I tell you what guys, if I was still doing search and rescue work, this is a light I would look for for a lot of reasons. Number one, really good runtime. I ran this thing. And I got way more than what Thrunite says. I actually got 105 minutes. And it holds, let's see here, at 60 minutes, it holds two thirds of its light. At 80 minutes, it holds 50% of its light. And even at 100 minutes, it still has 25% of its light. So you're still talking three or 400 lumens after 100 minutes. At 105 minutes, the light did have a hard shut off. And I checked the battery and it was 3.3 volts. So possibly could have run this on the low mode for a little bit beyond that. It didn't even trip the battery's protection. Obviously the, the light is protected against uh, low voltage. So if you let that recover a little bit, you probably could have got some more time out of it. So pretty cool there. My lumen numbers were a little high, but I'm not calibrated for the XPL high. So obviously that kind of uh, skewed that. So without further ado, we're going to show you how good this thing throws. This thing is just a magnificent thrower. So we're going to shut these lights off. Try not to get scared, guys. I will be right back. All right. Try not to trip over the huge pile of Gatorade on the floor here. I'm actually stocking up some extra water supplies. You know, we are having a huge, huge drought here in New York, so never can be too prepared. So. All right, let's zoom this out all the way, and let, oop, let there be light. You can see this thing is a thrower, and it's not even on the brightest side. <laughs> so, you can see as we cycle through these, on this brightest, you can see that just throws a, just a laser of a beam forward. We'll zoom back out. Just laser sharp beam. You can see very well. And you can see the edges of that. It has a very crisp edge. This has a very well focused reflector. You know, very nice tight hot spot. Good amount of spill where you're walking in the woods. And guys, look at that back there. You see those trees way back there? Those are easily probably 150 yards away. No problem. You can still see them in the. And I can see them in the viewfinder. I can see them even better in real life. These trees at 50 yards actually show up really well. So, this thing just throws like, it does, it just, it shoots out an absolute laser beam. Really good. Even at the low setting, you can see, you know, and you can't see it, but I can see well past 50 yards of this thing. I can actually see the trees out of the 100 yards, even though you can't. But as the mode settings go up, you can just see this thing is really, really something special. Definitely a light I would like to have doing some search and rescue work. So there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed.